All right, the next question was, can you create a subdomain website and rank it and then redirect all the pages to another site and the subdomain maintain its rankings? No, because the redirect will point to the new location and the new, loca the new location is going to replace the subdomain at some point, right? You can't, you can't redirect a URL and have both the URLs still appear in search or they might temporarily, and I don't even know that that's true, but Google will, whatever the redirect is, eventually that's what will rank and the other one will fall out of the index entirely. Am I right in that or is, am I missing something? I'm not, I, I think you're absolutely right. I don't see how you can since you're telling the, the, the bot through the 301 that the page or everything in that subdomain move permanently somewhere else. Yeah. You could that's, use it. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah, you could, you could, you could use a canonical and, uh, and it's, and it, it can, both pages can rank. I've seen that many times. You're telling Google with a canonical, like, hey, this page is similar to this page over here. Give the credit to this page, right? And then Google sometimes disregards that and will, you know, both, both pages will index and they'll both rank. And that happens. So I would suggest a canonical instead of a 301 if that's what you're trying to accomplish. But remember that just because you canonicalize it doesn't, you know, doesn't mean Google is going to honor that. It also doesn't mean that they won't honor it. Right. It's just kind of a, it's kind of a crapshoot. So. Yeah. What, what that is, the, the canonical is when you have similar or, or the same, and it doesn't have to be two, it, it could be two or more, however many copies of, of that document there, there exists, you can tell Google which one the master copy is and, and to rank that one rather than all the others. Now, whether Google follows the directive, well, that's up to Google and there's no telling what they'll do. That's right. Yeah, and, and just to you know, kind of reinforce that, um, I'm working on a tree care project um, for, it, you know, for a new, a new uh, lead gen service provider that I, I got. And it's a case study that I'm doing in the mastermind. And <clears throat> I use tags, tags to create location silos. Anyways, uh, Google, it's a new site, right? And <clears throat> my blogger just started blogging for the location posts on the site and the way that we're doing building it out with using tags to create the location silos google was ranking the tag pages but not but not the posts that i wanted to be ranked and it indexed the tag pages first right and the tag pages cuz in some in some cases they're unique tags which means that the tag page is a duplicate of the post that if you guys understand how tags work, that's that's what happens. If it's a uh, unique tag that's only in one post, then the tag page itself is essentially a duplicate of the post. And so for whatever reason, Google um, indexed the tag pages instead of the posts. And so the tag pages were ranking for the keywords, but not the post. And so, and I even set the canonical in the tag setting. With SEO Ultimate Pro, you can do that because you can go to what's called the Global Canonical Manager or even the code inserter plus module, and you can actually go in and add like a separate canonical for each tag and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so I added the canonicals for the, the tag pages to canonicalize to the post, right? When it's a unique tag, you can do that. And, uh, but Google wasn't honoring it and about two weeks went by. And so finally I went just this week, I just went to uh, search console and forced Google to recrawl the posts or excuse me, the tag pages because they had the canonicals in the HTML header to point to the post that I wanted to give the credit to. Right, and that's what I wanted to be ranked. And it only took about 24 hours and lo and behold, now the tag pages aren't indexed, but the posts are, which is what I wanted. So again, it, it you know, that doesn't mean that that's always gonna happen because it could be that Google doesn't honor the canonical or doesn't, you know, doesn't recognize it for whatever reason. But by the way, you can also check that when you submit inspect URL in Search Console and it, once it uh, inspects the URL, it's gonna tell you whether it's in Google or not. And there's a drop down setting that you uh, menu that you can click on to expand it shows you additional details and it'll tell you what the uh, google recognized canonical is for that page or that post whatever url it is that you're inspecting right and so you can clearly see what google's seeing so you can force a canonical and then go ask google to uh, request indexing and then once it does you know you can look at the, the code that it shows like the, the rendered page and it'll it'll tell you the details of that and it'll show you if it, if it saw the canonical or not so.